Let's talk about it. Serena Williams says bad makeup. Who gives a holy moly? I mean, I don't. I, I don't. I don't care. It's 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 like I get that, especially content creators. Right? I get that. Like our job is to I don't know be visible <laughs> so that people can see the content that we create. That's what people care about. That's our right. job here at the Digital News. And <laughs> apparently you care about Serena Williams light makeup. Like, were you the makeup artist? Did she show up to your photo shoot with lighter makeup than you anticipated? Like, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, there's the speculation around, you know, she's dating a white guy and because she's dating, well, not dating, married to a white guy, um, it's causing her to, I don't know, whitewash herself. Listen, maybe that's the case, but I will tell you right now, until this came across my social feed, it would have never been a thought in my mind. And until I saw it on Google Trends. <laughs> right, right. We're looking at Google Trends prepping, prepping for our next show, right? And Jessica's like, why well, Serena Williams? And I literally know because I have people that randomly feed me information and I'm like, why do you think I care about this? <laughs> Here's why you should care. If you are in a digital media, whatever, social media, whatever, if you work in this sphere, here's why you should care. Because other people apparently give a crap. And that, that makes me, they make me sad for world time. Like every time something like this happens, I'm like, let me actually say this though. I remember that actually happened to me. The whole thing with Selena Williams happened to me. Oh, with the um, with the light makeup. Yes. So here's what happened. So this is, then this may be what happened to her. I went to someone who I just met, just found them on Instagram or Facebook or on YouTube. I needed my makeup done, so I wanted to take some pictures for my brand. Went to her. She did the makeup. It looked great. Like my color and my tone was brown. Everything. It set. And a couple of hours later, I was white as I don't know what. Mm -hmm. And people were like, oh, God, huh? oh, oh. I'm going to look for those pictures and see if I can find them. So That's I can show you how bad it was. So funny. But you know what's like, you know, that makeup artist, uh, I don't know. That was, that's weird. I struggle with that being okay for somebody of Serena Williams caliber right yeah, yeah, i mean yeah. even if you have a makeup artist on site like it sets and you look like that you stop the shoot and you readjust the makeup somebody that just looks like you know like this you know here's she's probably tired it was late you, you never know she might yeah tired. i mean but we we've, we've decided she's trending now and we've just we've just decided that the white man has caused her to whitewash <laughs> Like that's where we went. It could have been a bad angle. It could have been bad light. It could literally could have been like in that moment, the lighting made her look that way. That moment was taken. And what did we do? We ran, we ran with it. But here's the thing. Now I think that's why we're here to bring everybody back down to earth. As digital media people, as social media folks, as brand builders, as you are, as we do these things, we understand that behind the scenes, number one, it's a lot that goes into a photo shoot. Number two is a lot that goes into having a makeup artist and all those things. Number three, if we both worked with celebrity types or celebrities, you know, it they are running around constantly. They're always doing something. They're trying to get a shoot done. Sometimes you just like just get the photos in, you know. So I think this may have been one of those moments where it was just like do 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 do, mm -hmm. right? You never know. And on top of the fact, like I feel that there's an opportunity for content creators to bring a little bit more integrity into journalism because I feel because everybody is chasing the click, the engagement, the, the numbers that, you know, even situations where like, this is something that's silly, whatever the woman's makeup is, is, you know, is bad, whatever, who cares. But like there's situations where, I can't remember what celebrity recently passed, where you got people just vying to be the first person to break the story before like family members even get a chance to share this with their family members. Like the last thing I want to do is cut on Instagram and find out that somebody that I know in real life, not just a fan, somebody I know in real life, like 
passed away and the people that don't know them personally know before me just because uh journalists decided that they wanted to break a story irresponsibly quickly without verifying facts and i think that that is what we always have to take into consideration when we're consuming content because like a situation like this we don't know what serena um we don't know we, it is a moment in time remember like there are moments in time trust and believe if we're being honest and we all know you look in your phone you will have 17 pictures of you doing the same pose trying to get a picture some of those pictures look crazy right <laughs> but the moment there's a moment that you you look amazing that literally you can have the same make up the same everything that one moment so you never know and it's our job i feel as content creators to um content creators and just thinking people like i'm thinking about the consumer forget the content creator the content consumer because guess what people that are going to create that's their job like unfortunately the game sucks but the rules are you got to create crap that people go click on that's just really what it comes down to right so us, us as consumers, content consumers, we have to like be realistic about some of this stuff. I mean, I, I mean, you know, we all want to just be part of the conversation, but like, can someone offer a perspective that's realistic or an alternative to what the masses are saying? 